Villa end up beating Man United 1-0. Come on, Penchester, Penandes, Penaldo in the mud. So Villa end up winning 1-0 at Old Trafford for the first time in like 10 years. Come on, get in. Getting absolutely amazing. Unbelievable stuff. I thought overall we did deserve it. We had so many chances created. Yes, Man United had one or two, but in the end, it was a Bruno Fernandes penalty. What better way to give us the win? Missing it, sending it sky high over. Weren't even a penalty anyway. Courtney House's hand is like down here. I don't know why they're giving a penalty for that. Mike Dean is seeing things and overall... We deserved it. In the first half, we should have scored, really. Watkins had a chance. Matt Target had chances. Ramsey, later on, had that chance where he should have scored. But Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, Oli and Karaki, out of tactics. Oh, no. Oh, no. We can't do it. Oh, I'm just so glad we managed to do that. Incredible stuff. What a header from Courtney House. Corner swings in. Flick on. Into the top left. Yes. And it's Aston Villa. Aston Villa FC. We're by far the greatest team the world has ever seen. Incredible stuff. I thought overall our performance was great. Emmy Martinez at the back was good. Two on Sabi wasn't much of a miss. And this five back system is working amazing. Against Everton, we got the win 3 0. The five back worked perfectly. Leon Bailey, oh, when he's back fully fit and playing full, full 90 minutes, he's going to be incredible. He changed the Everton game. In this system, it worked. We didn't have the kind of flair and creativity. Bertrand Traore could have come on, but. Overall, absolutely amazing scenes. Villa do it. This squad just keeps getting better and better. Yeah, no Grealish, no problem. Obviously, City did end up beating Chelsea earlier. This title race is really good. United losing, Chelsea losing. If Liverpool win now, they've got a bit ahead. City are back in it. That four-way battle is going to be insane. It's a good boost for us. We needed this after a few dodgy results before. Losing, drawing, all this. And hopefully, we can surge for them. Seventh, eighth, maybe sixth. It's looking unlikely, but like a seventh place, eighth place finish. That would be amazing progress in the Dean Smith era. He's done incredible so far. And I thought this five-back formation that he switched to really helps the attack build up. And you've got three solid centre-backs. Mings gets a lot more help there. He doesn't need to kind of be the main man and make these mistakes. And Eric has got the likes of House, normally to Ansabi and Conza. But House, this one, who was amazing, I thought, when he was playing in the attack, just passing it and played fantastic stuff. And overall, we deserved it. Yes, they had the penalty, which was ridiculous. They had a few chances, Greenwood and stuff. They just didn't take them. And we should have took us. And realistically, if we was more clinical, it would have been 2, 3, 4 nil maybe. So United fans, shut up about Ronaldo. Viva Ronaldo. Viva shit Naldo. Viva Pernaldo. Viva Pernaldo. Viva Pernaldo. He was absolutely didn't really have anything to do in the game. Yeah, he might have had one shot, two shots. But apart from that, terrible. Nothing. Didn't really get into the game. And he scored against every Premier League club except the Villa. So... All your Ronaldo supporters, all United ones, be quiet because he's just got silenced by Aston Villa. Incredible performance. Dino does it again. I can't believe it. What a win. Historic in uh, history now. Incredible goal. And in the end, we kept a clean sheet. And now Man United are in the mud. Luke Shaw went off injured. That's going to affect him heavily. Dallo, he looked all right, but he's not where near as good as Luke Shaw. I think he's right footed as well, isn't he? So that's going to affect him a lot. But in the end... Villa did it. Fantastic header by Courtney House. And I thought overall on the pitch was really good. McGinn was getting a bit kind of aggressive afterwards. But he kept his head. He got a yellow. Yeah, all right, fine. A bit of frustration. There was times where it's enter and we countered. Then they countered. Then we countered again. It was just amazing stuff. De Gea had a few shaky moments, but in the end pulled off some good saves. Same with Emmy, And it was just a fantastic performance. And as Gary Neville would say, Unbelievable! What a game. Chelsea versus City. City ended up winning, got back in the race, but this game is more bigger than Chelsea and City. You've got the two oil there, and you've got the two historic clubs here fighting it out. Villa coming out on top at Old Trafford in so long. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.